I'm in the tools and skills business that if we can find problems in our community or in our own lives, my goal is, is that students know how to find the right tools to be able to address those challenges and then spot and find the science and, and the ideas that come out of that. Well, I bought a couple of really sort of economic soldering irons and the kids had a real instant interest in making electronic devices and coming up with you know, light emitting diode projects or projects that had small motors in them. Neil Squire Society is an organization that has been around for about 30 years and its main goal is to provide assistive technologies to people with alternate ability levels. So whether they're neurodivergent or they have a physical disability and they, they create the tools that bridge that. And so our children were involved from ages nine to 13 in a series of builds that we have in partnership with them. Um, they come and they have partners that buy the, the components and 3D print the components. And then our children do all of the electronics. They do the soldering of the switches and the assembly. And to date, we've built 400 of these. We seriously underestimate what young kids can do in terms of being able to learn complex activities like you know soldering an electronic switch or using uh, a tool that you know a powered tool or um, learning about a complex program to produce a result or or something that they can carry on in their own lives i like the idea of uh, allowing open-ended activities if they all take command of their learning, they carry themselves in a way that's safe and responsible and also, you know, asking questions. I think somebody said it earlier in the week, I don't expect you to know the answer, but I do expect you to ask questions. And if that they, if they buy in on that, that there is no upper limit in terms of what is possible.